busyness though, um, I have been trying to have some fun and certainly watch movies. Now I've actually not got through many of my DVDs, but I have been out to the cinema to see four movies since I last spoke to you via the vlogs. Uh, Drag Me to Hell, Ice Age 3, G-Force, and The Final Destination. Each of them inducing a different viewpoint on filmmaking. <laughs> Drag Me To Hell, brought to us by Sam Raimi of the Evil Dead Days. And I kid you not, he's done it again. He has brought a horror movie that just completely, kind of, to say revolutionises is kind of a bit too strong, perhaps. But considering what we've had in recent years of the, of the genre, it certainly is a nice change, refreshing, and to be honest, I don't think I've ever seen a movie I wanted to puke quite as much. Uh, even You don't need blood? Just get an old lady with her false teeth falling out. That'll do it. I kid you not. I mean, do not be fooled by the 15 certificate on this movie. It should be 18 rated. I don't care that there's no swearing. I don't care that there's not much blood. It's what is inferred. And I think that is the power of the mind of what is delivered to you. The imagery that is given. And then your mind just goes with the idea and runs away with it. And it honestly, it has got an excellent twist at the end. I'm not going to go into spoilers. I just wanted to say, if you get the chance... If you love horror movies, if you love Sam Raimi's Evil Dead, if you love, uh, like, horror movies, horror movies of the kind of, um, not, I was going to say, um, The Hills of Eyes, but it's not really a kind of trapped out in the middle of nowhere. It's, it's really close to home, and, and it's just, it's, it's just really, it just really creeped me out, and I thought it was excellently directed, the, act the lead actress in it was a bit mm, so so whatever um and the boyfriend oh I can't remember I know I'm trying to think he's the guy in um Die Hard 4 uh but he was okay but it, it was just an entertaining movie that made me and I went with a friend and we just sat there the whole way through the movie going ah, 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 we just and it was just that good. So for me, if you get if you get the chance, pick it up on DVD and watch and enjoy. It's a bit silly. It is pure over the top. You know, don't expect some deep, deep. I think they try to go into some deep moral, but just enjoy it for what it is. And I I rate it highly. At least four, four and a half out of five. Next up, if you can hear me over the tanking around with the kittens in the hallway, is Ice Age 3. I saw this on my birthday, um, purely because there was nothing else at the time that I really wanted to see. Um, I have not, however, seen Ice Age 1 or 2. So I went to this movie completely unknowing of the characters, completely unsure what to expect, as, you know, about the quality of both the the, the, the animation or the plots. Um, I have mixed views on it. It was entertaining, it was fun, but it was just, it just didn't grasp me and say the same way like other Pixar movies and, and you know, the, 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 the DreamWorks productions. Uh, you know, give me, give me a, uh, Shrek or, or over the head any day. It, it was funny and, and I'm sure certainly for younger kids maybe. I'm not saying I didn't enjoy it. I enjoyed it a lot. 
but there was just something lacking and, and I think maybe that comes from having not seen the first two movies because I had no connection to these characters um, again it's it's taking I know there's a lot of people kicking up over the whole you know dinosaurs shouldn't exist in this world etc uh, but you got to take it it's a kids movie we're talking about a kids movie where animals are talking um, so take it as it is it's a kids movie do not take this seriously uh, but I mean you know it's coming from it as a new person to the franchise I enjoyed it and it certainly made me want to you know check out the previous two so um, I'd give it at least three three and a half out of five because uh, it didn't make me want to walk out of the cinema and more recent G-Force the live action with CGI talking guinea pigs movie uh, this this movie has to be the most stupid and ridiculous thing I've ever watched the plot you just sit there going you've got to be kidding oh my god oh for god's sake and you're just sat there just shaking your head with kind of what the f this um however at the same time it was the most entertaining thing i've ever come away from uh in a whole new kind of like um uh disney's rocket man it was the most stupid, juvenile, kind of pointless thing. But you come away and you're like, actually, I enjoyed that. It could have gone on longer. It could have, you know, because um, I mean, you're talking again. You're talking much like I said. You're talking about talking animals. So it's not as if you can say, oh, this is like not right. You can't do this. Blah blah blah. It's a kids movie you're supposed to enjoy it for what it is um it, it was funny i mean i mean the whole concept is silly but i did get there's a twist and i so saw it come in and i have witnesses that can prove this i saw this i saw who i knew who the bad guy you know the, the kind of uh, spanner in the works if you will i knew who that was straight away but I, I, I enjoyed it. I really did. And it's kind of on the kind of Johnny English stupidityness. Um, just, just. I, you see, I can't rate it high because it was just the most stupid plot ever. But it wasn't a bad movie. So I really do not know what to rate it. I guess a three. I, I, you know, I mean, just, just. Again, it's another one of those take it lightly, whatever. I didn't feel like I'd wasted my time going. I just, I just wish it hadn't been one of those, you know, where you're sat there just kind of whatever uh, moments. But you know, I guess it's just one of those things. But yeah, talking guinea pigs are good.